And one of the interesting things that I was reading, and this article is available if you want to dive more into it because there's a lot of good, but SpaceX's president and COO, Gwyn Shotwell, mentioned that it's, it's easier to sell reuse rockets, flight-proven rockets, than it was to sell them the brand new rocket that no one had ever flown on before. And this is something that's at the, the crux of the space industry. You know, as, as going through school as an aerospace engineer, flight-proven hardware was the dogma. It was the, the thing that everyone lived and died by, so that if, if you wanted to fly something into space, when we were developing uh, missions, like we had to develop a mission to Mars um, to go, you know, whether it was research something on the planet itself, we had to design a mission using Excel sheets and all these crazy things and lots of math uh, to design our spacecraft. And one of the things that we had to do was only choose flight-proven hardware, stuff that had flown in space before. But the conundrum that was there, this is what, 10 years ago? 10 years ago, the conundrum was, well, we've got all this flight hardware, we've got this library of stuff that's flown in space before, and then we've got all these other developmental stuff that would be nice, but people were not choosing those things that didn't fly into space. And so how do you make something a flight-proven hardware without spending the money? And what the problem was is that a lot of the space industry was driven by public funding, by taxpayer money, and by these big contracts that were given. And there was no way to really fast track something that could have been useful to you to become flight proven so that someone would be comfortable flying it into space. And that's what brings us to what Gwen Shotwell was talking about. You know, everything that has made SpaceX successful, that has that has made them the powerhouse that they are today, yes, the brilliance of Elon Musk and, and the fact that he started the company and put every bit of the money that he made from PayPal and his other ventures to make to, to push SpaceX past that third launch of the Falcon 1 so they could actually get into orbit yes, he's a, he's a major piece of that and obviously all the brilliant engineers and scientists that are involved in SpaceX and the teamwork that they did with NASA to now have a reusable rocket like the Falcon 9 and to get through the Crew Dragon to be qualified by NASA so that they're sending humans into space but the thing that's really not discussed enough and I would love to have you on, Gwen, if, if you have the time to come on the podcast and talk more about this. But having her leading the charge behind the scenes with the people in the company, developing the culture inside the company that's needed to get through all the crazy stuff that they're doing. I mean, these engineers are working day in, day out, and dealing with the operations, dealing with the day-to-day, -day, the people, is definitely not Elon's strength. So the fact that they've been able to keep these people, these brilliant engineers, the, some of the smartest people around the entire world, especially in our country, that is due to Gwen Shotwell. She's also the person that has gone out and made these sales with all these places to get them to buy technology that was not flight proven. Only to get them to this point where we are in 2021 and 2020, which was their best year ever, 26 flights of a Falcon 9, which is... Which is a lot of launches for a space company and to do that during a pandemic that took the trust that was put with someone like when shotwell to go and make those sales and find those sales and now they're actually having an easier time launching aboard rockets that have already been flown which is not a thing that's existed before you know every time a rocket would launch it was a it was a brand new rocket so now we've entered this new era where the space industry is accepting a used rocket because it's been flight proven and that as, as someone that was <laughs> learning aerospace that 10 years ago literally couldn't have happened but that's only happened because of people like Wynne Shotwell that have that have pushed this industry this aerospace industry to think differently and it, it wasn't just that the engineers and everything behind it had to work but they succeeded. SpaceX was able to do that, and they've now changed the industry in such a way that they can jump on this flight-proven uh, religiousness, which, which makes sense, right? You don't want to spend millions of dollars, right, to launch something into space only to have it blow up, and then you lose all that money, right? There's there's insurance policies for these launches. Like, it's 
it's definitely not something we can skip over and just say, well, why don't they just do that? Because there's a lot of people online, especially the SpaceX hardcores, that are just behind this idea of of SpaceX. But there is another side to this, right? This is a very expensive venture. This is a an investment that takes millions of dollars. But then what is the reliability of the thing launching that up there? And that's where SpaceX had to get through this 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 10, 12 years. Gwen Shotwell was, was with the company in 2002, the very, very early days. And after, what is this, 19 years now, they're at this point where they can get people to believe in their technology. And not only that, people are now, the people that are investing in sending their stuff into space are actually saving money on these launches because SpaceX can now offer that because they're, they're, they only have to refurbish and maybe replace a few parts on these rockets instead of building a completely new one, which is game changing.